I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. Uh. P1 cleaner than your church shoes. Uh. Belly point two just to hurt you. Uh. All red lamb just to tease you. What is up, guys? Edgar here, lifestylesdefined.com. Welcome back. So, today's review is going to be of the Ray Ban 8351. This was actually a special request from Ven X. So, Ven X, if you're watching, first of all, thank you for leaving your request in the comment section below. Everyone else that's watching, if you want me to cover any sunglass, I'll try to do my best to get that product in my hands so that I can review it for you guys. But anyway, if you're looking for a more sporty type of look, that's where this frame comes into play. Ray-Ban is well known for the Club Masters. They are well known for the Aviators and for the Wayfarers. But they also make a nice pair of shades for those of you that want to be a little more sporty, that are going to be on the move a little more and that is where this frame shines so if you look on screen you'll see a lot of the close-ups and I'll kind of explain to you as that plays along so this particular model here the front section is made out of a plastic uh, glossy black finish plastic if you look at the temples you'll notice that they have an aluminum section there that has the Ray-Ban logo on the right side and the same goes for the left side of the frame now towards the back where the ear is you'll notice that they have a rubberized section there on both ends and that's going to give you more grip when you are on the go, moving fast, running, or any type of sport that you might be doing. Now, if you look in the interior section of the frame, you'll notice that on the nose section, you have a rubberized finish there as well. And that again is going to make sure and ensure that you have more grip when you are moving at a fast pace. Now. Ray-Ban always likes to deck their frames out with their logo. You'll find that on the right side temple, on the left side. You'll also find the engraving on the left lens, towards the left side of the lens. You'll also find the Ray-Ban logo on the right top corner of the right lens. And you'll also find it in the interior of the nasal area of the frame. Now, as far as the size for this guy right here, you do have a 60 eye size by 17 millimeter temple. And then just to make sure, the actual length of the temple is 120 millimeters so this one actually fits me pretty well typically i go with a bigger model but this one fits me pretty well so i think it will fit most most of you guys out there uh rather well now as far as the lenses you do get a pair of polarized lenses and that's why this sticker is right here on the left lens that means that these lenses are polarized and Ray-Ban gives you that beautiful G15 color that they are known for uh, putting on every single one of their sunglass frames. Now you can customize the lenses if you want to, if you have a prescription, you can actually add your lenses to this frame so they are RXable. Now as you know polarized to me happens to be the best way to protect your eyes because not only do they block the polarizing light but they also help you with the UV protection and they simply look pretty damn cool. Now, as far as the pricing, you can find these for about $220. Depending on where you go, the price is going to range. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you like the style of these frames. Uh, they are different ways to customize. You can check out RayBan.com to get that done. But anyway, as always, thank you for stopping by. My name is Edgar, signing off. Peace. If I had to describe Lifestyles Defined, I would say it is a dream come true uh, to have a platform where we can talk about the things that we love and we can share with people who also love the things we love the way we love and just have conversations that matter and go back and forth and grow as a community. It's it's been a pleasure, it's been a dream, and I just want to thank everyone that's involved for rocking out with us.